Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Provide evidence of casualties from Lekki shooting and get 1.2 million. Bayo Adesun declared. Hello, everyone. We know what has been going on with regards to, you know, all that happened October the 20th, 2020 at the Lekki toll gate, where... You know, Nigerian youths who have been on the street for the past 9 to 11 days at that, at that time, you know, we are saying it is time to end police brutality. It is time to end evil that is going on in the country. And we need good governance. Even after the, uh, you know, government said, okay, they will end SARS. It's okay. We need good governance. We need good governance. And so before we know it, on the 20th, Nigerian youth were still out. They said there was supposed to be a, co a coffee, and the coffee was supposed to start at 9 p.m. By 7 p.m., my people, the light went off. How can the light go off? They said that they were obeying. Does light obey coffee? That means the old Lagos state should have been black. No generator should have been on. Everybody should have been in a, what, a very dark and very dark corner. But guess what? All those are lies. So, you know, a lot of, we've been hearing that people died and what have you. They said, okay, we want to see casualty, 1.2 million if you can provide and produce any casualties. Let's get on and get all the details. Provide evidences of casualty from Lekki shooting and get 1.2 million. Get 1.2 million. A Nigerian researcher based in Canada, Bayo Adesonu, has risen to the occasion, has raised over 1.2 million, 225,000 naira, and has said he's giving it out as a reward to anybody who can provide evidences of casualty from the October 20th shooting at the Lekki toll gate. This is very important so that we can adequately put Nigerian government in their place. We need these evidences to be able to put things in order, to make sure that things are put in place, to be able to charge Nigerian government accordingly. Recall that on the 20th of October, men dressed in military uniforms stormed Lekki Togate and fired sporadically at the peaceful NSAS protesters, which resulted in a stampede and chaos. The governor of Lagos State, Babajide Sanwolu, has claimed that there was there were only two casualties recorded at the Lekki toll gate when the shooting occurred. But in Niger but a Nigerian disco GJ Switch, who was at the Lekki toll gate during the shooting and gave live streaming records recording of the shooting and incident that happened that night, had alleged she said that over 15 bodies were dumped at the feet of the military base men dressed in military uniform and who fired the gunshots. Adesan who said that he needs to get to the root of the matter and wants the whole truth. Adesan who took to his Twitter account over the weekend and pledged the sum of 50,000 Naira to anyone with credible evidence of the casualty. He later announced on Twitter that over 1.2 million 25,000 Naira has so far been raised to give to anyone with genuine evidences. As soon as he pledged out 50,000 Naira, other people started supporting because we do really need these evidences for the International Criminal Court of Justice to come into Nigeria to hold Nigerian government accountable. Recall that the panel that has been set up by the Lagos State Government went to the army base unannounced to check their mortuary because they got a tip off. Guess what? They went and they came back empty-handed. The army refused them bluntly. They said, no, you will never get in. They got there, stayed a while, tried to see whoever was in authority to try to get to the mortuary to see really if there were bodies that were alleged that the army took away. Nobody allowed them in. So how do you want the panel to work if you are not going to open and give them a free hand to investigate? So Nigerian government, however, 
has not allowed them free hand to investigate. Even the army we are talking about, at the very first instant, did not do anything. When they, when they invited, they refused to come. The very army refused to come at the very first instant. They refused. It was later that they were told that this uh, was, was put together by Nigerian government and they had to comply, that they now decided to come. They came in, they said they gave answers, uh, protesters water and uh, drink, and afterwards they were stoning them, and what have you. They used the ammunition, they used the blank ammunition, which does not kill anyone, or the highest they can do is just to put um, bleaches on the skin, and that was it. It says, so there is nothing, they never did anything, and, uh, you know, and guess what? The Nigerian army has changed their stories four times, four four times four one two three four the lies keep coming again and again and again drastic and they are trying in every way possible to have this cover up and that is why that is why this man you know is in canada and nigerian government needs to get you know for us to be able to charge nigerian government we can charge nigerian government what happened that night is enough cry on call you know, the nations of the world are aware. They are looking to see how Nigerian government will handle this issue and this incident of all that happened. How does it start? It all starts from Nigerian government taking, doing the right thing, investigating. If Nigerian government is not doing anything, there is no investigation going on. Then they will get on board and begin to investigate in Nigeria. But first of all, there are protocols. There are ways to go. You don't just come into somebody's territory and start that. But right now, what we are hearing is... Nigerian government apparently seem to be conducting uh, a, a, an investigation. What investigation, we don't know. Because right now, the investigation does not show adequately, okay, that the, it, it, it is being carried out with transparency and fairness. Because we know that, uh, you know, the, 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 the guys got in there to investigate, to look at what is going on, you know, with the army, uh, and much worry. And they refused them access. They bluntly refused them access. So how can you, how can you, you know, carry out an investigation and get to the bottom of the matter that you are refused to get, uh, you know, evidences from every quarter? The army keep changing their story. And up to date, we don't know if by night or somehow bodies have been carried from that place. We don't know. So that's why this, uh, 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 you know, this uh, uh, Adebayo, Adeb, you know, he has said he's putting 50,000 naira and others began to contribute to say, let us get to the bottom of it. Let's see, you know, how much we can raise. And over 1.2 million has been raised to anyone who has credible evidence on shooting of that day. Guys, what do you think? Leave us a comment. God bless you. Have a lovely and a fantastic day. Bye for now.